Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And I'm just getting back home from the gym and want to use some of this energy and just get a quick message out. Just whatever, whatever comes out, I'm going to do a look at the past, present, and the future. I'll pull two oracle cards before and just see what comes out. Whoever needs this message, we'll get it, okay? Let's see here. Give us one card here. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message for the Aries who need the message the most. They need the clarity and they need this message the most. Thank you. <clears throat> so we have satisfaction, if you can see. And it came in reverse, and at the bottom we have transformation, okay? Satisfaction says you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are, okay? And the transformation says you use the power of love to move through illusion and awareness. So someone here, still going through a bit of a, I feel like somebody's dissatisfied in a situation, okay? Um, looking for approval from someone else or a relationship or a person in particular when you know I mean that's if you want to be unhappy when then you always look for approval from from other people that's a sure way to be unhappy right you need to love yourself and your happiness needs to come from you thank you yeah okay clear as day release your ex okay so there's someone here that needs to be released at the bottom of the deck we have very soon clearly decide what it what you want so that it comes to you now all right what do we have here for the aries collective So funny, I got my hair wrapped and everything after the gym. And I don't go outside like this other than to the gym, but I let you guys see me like this. So let's see what happened in the past. Let's take a look. Past, present, and the future. I'm gonna pull the cards first before we go over them. Clean of pentacles. Wow. King of Pentacles. Going on presently. And what is to come in the future? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups, walking away from a situation that no longer emotionally serves you or has any purpose to be in your life. So Aries, in the past, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Wow, a divine partnership here. And when I say divine, obviously, it was, it was spiritually or orchestrated, right? But it doesn't mean that you just have to be with this person. I feel like this could have been somebody that come into your life and there was a strong connection. You felt it. They felt it. Um, and this just looked like something. This just looked like something that was going to work. It looked really good. You guys were in the same energy. It seemed like you both wanted commitment. Three of Pentacles. This could have been a work situation. Um, but I feel like you both saw growth with each other. Okay. Like this is somebody I want to build with and they thought the same thing about you. Okay. Yeah. Three of Pentacles coming up again for some, somebody strongly. This has to do with work. Um, it was just a work connection. Doesn't have to be, this could just be somebody that you saw that you wanted to build with. And I don't know, it just 
quickly broke down. There was some sort of tower moment. Let's clarify the three of pentacles here. Wow. You know what I also feel? I'm like, I don't want to say broke down because so you could have been dealing with a Taurus and Aries. You could have strong earth in your chart as well. What I feel like is that this person came into your life quickly and abruptly. And they wanted, like, soon as they met you, they wanted a relationship. They started talking about a relationship. Um, and this is, it seems like a sure thing. The King of Pentacles is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. It seems like a sure thing. Like, this person really wanted some sort of commitment. And it looked trustworthy. It looked dependable. Aries, you... I don't know if this is you or not, or this could be then. But somebody here is showing up, five of pen, five of wands, queen of pentacles, very conflicted, almost fighting, right? Confused, like in their mind about this. Yeah, six of cups here in reverse. This is the thing. This came in so strong. So you were like, is this real? I had a lot of drama in my past relationships, six of cups, five of wands. Is this somebody that I can trust? And I feel like somebody here made you trust them, made you feel like this was a situation where they were very dependable. And this, they probably told you like, hey, we're going to go somewhere. Like I met you and I know because this tower card is like this came in so quickly, so fast. And straight to commitment, or you at least talking about commitment or working towards commitment. And this person was like, you know, I know I want to be with you. You are it. Like, you tick all my boxes. Um, you're the person that I want to be with. Okay, let's see. Happening in the present moment, though, the death. Death card. Four of wands and the eight of wands. I mean, four of swords, excuse me. Four of swords and the eight of wands. Communication just stopped. This person comes in hot and heavy, quick. I'm going to say hot and heavy, but they came in talking about a commitment. And then all of a sudden we have the death card here and the four of swords. It's like communication just stopped. Let's clarify the death card. The nine of wands here. Someone may have felt like this was very painful when it happened. Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior energy. Somebody could have also, wow, and then the Ten of Wands. Like, what's the Eight of Wands here? The Ten of Pentacles. Jeez, this is crazy. So the Death card here, something stopped abruptly. There is just something just changed. The dev talks about transformation and ending, sometimes new beginnings. But it seems like with the nine of wands is a very wounded warrior energy. I could somebody could have ended this so quickly because they started feeling things and it could be something to do with their past. All of a sudden, this was just so much of a burden. This was just so much to, to, to handle. And they felt like they just needed to call it quits. They needed to end this connection. The Four of Swords. I just feel like it was an ending that happened with the Ten of Wands. Presently, though, then all of a sudden, is this is this reading is so confusing. What is the Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands? See, King of Swords, and it, it, if you saw, I just flipped around in my hand in reverse. Someone just stopped giving to the connection. They stopped communicating why they were giving to the connection. Um... And this was huge for you, Aries. I feel like this was a really big blow to you. What is the Nine of Wands in the Death card? King of Wands. Somebody was very in their ego. It's like this person wanted to have full control of the situation. Could be dealing with a narcissist with the King of Swords in reverse. Somebody who's very controlling, doesn't care about anybody else's feeling, and they kind of strategize this. They kind of plot this. King of Wands energy seems like the same sort of energy. Just somebody wanted con full control of everything that was going on. So they put an end to it. So you know what I think? Like this person could have really got in their feelings because then now still in the present moment, after all this conversation gets cut off, we have the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody comes rushing back in saying, hey, hey, about that commitment again. Like what are you? Do you need to be committed? Like what the heck? You, they cut you off and then all of a sudden they come back in passionately talking about Ten of Pentacles, commitment, marriage, all over again. Look at that. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What is... Whoop. 
clarify. Oh my god, don't let me fall on camera. The hermit. I don't know if it came. I feel like it was in reverse. So yeah, somebody comes out of hiding. Hermit's in reverse. So it means that they're coming out of isolation to come speak to you, to come talk here, the world, and start a new cycle, a new beginning. Let's clarify that one more time. Oof, yeah, this person is very toxic and very controlling. Could have Virgo. I see a lot of Earth, a lot of Earth. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. That's all I'm seeing is a lot of Earth. Even the devil is Capricorn. All these pinnacles. And this person comes back in. And it seems to me that this person here, because the devil is like somebody who pulls strings. They pull these strings to control you, right? Like a puppet. And so what does that look like? That means that I'm going to completely submerge myself in you and make you feel so loved and adored and like we are just perfect for each other they study you you have to learn a narcissist they study you like that's what makes people feel like these narcissistic people fall in love with you is because from the very beginning they're listening to you so intently they want to know everything about you they want to know what you love what's your favorite color and Sometimes when you're like really in love, yeah, you get that kind of vibe and it's equal give and take, but not a narcissist. They're literally taking notes. They want to know so they can repeat back like they really care about you, but they're doing this so they can know what make what you love, what you dislike, what makes you tick. And then they turn around and use that on you. Okay. Or they make you fall in love and then they pull away just quickly, just abruptly. Okay. Um, and that's heartbreaking because you're like, well, wait a minute. I thought this was like we were going to marriage. I thought we talked about commitment. I thought this was really something. I mean, I see sex, sexual energy here. Like this was really good. And then nothing. And then all of a sudden they came back. Hey, I was really busy. I had a lot of work to do. You know, um, so sorry. Something went on in my life. And it just took pulled me away from you. What is the fourth pentacles in the future position? Two of, pen, two of cups, four of pentacles, two of cups. And the knight of wands. So then they come back in again. Non-committal energy, rushing in passionately. Maybe wanting make, makeup sex, telling you that they want to hold on to you. They don't want to let you go. But the fact that they're coming in as a knight of wands it means that they're going to let you go again. They're going to come in quickly, passionately, and leave again. The moon, they have some sort of hidden agenda. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. This is that love bomber that I was talking about who comes in and cares about everything that you're saying. Right? I want to date you. I want to love you. What do you like? What's your favorite color? But then now I have something else to do with the Three of Cups. Maybe a third party situation or I just want to go out and have fun with my friends and not really be in a commitment. What is the Knight of Cups? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This person doesn't want to... They don't want to invest. They're a time waster. Queen of Swords here. Energies. But somebody picks up on that energy and they say, I'm protecting myself. You're not getting back into my heart chakra anymore. You're not getting back into my heart space. I see the truth of the matter now. What is the Three of Cups? The Temperance. Patience. Nine of Cups. It feels like because somebody waited, because somebody here took their time... Nine of Swords here. Ooh, let me tell you this. This person comes in and lays it on thick like they want to reconcile. They want to start over. They want to heal. They come in with an apology. And it feels really good. And whoever this is, like they put you in a way where you're just like, is this real? Like, I don't know. I don't want to be hurt again. I don't want to go back through this again. But they're coming on so strong. All these cups, so emotional so passionately like they care about my feelings now all of a sudden they care all of a sudden they want to make things right all of a sudden they want to heal this connection the nine of swords so you're really in your head about it and we have the four of cups as the outcome i feel like somebody here what is the four of swords they they heal they rise from this situation was the four of cups excuse me justice and the strength I feel like somebody rejects this offer. They get wise. You get wise, Aries, or they get wise, and they reject this offer. And I feel like it's because that somebody started to heal. Look at this. This is three major arcanas. 
somebody started to heal and started to recognize what this person was doing. And when they came back around, they rejected their offer because they knew it was fake. And they knew they possibly were going to get hurt again. Through this situation, though, I feel like it made somebody stronger to realize that, you know, this is not happiness. Look at this. Four of Cups, again, rejecting somebody's advances coming towards you. Somebody's moving on in the judgment. So there was a lesson to learn here. I feel like through this, so somebody like really recognized that they don't need this kind of attention. What is the page of wands and the world? Yeah, you cut any kind of communication out with this person. Ten of cups. And look at that. The world talks about endings, ending a cycle so you can have a successful new one. And then we have the ten of cups. So then there's some relationship. We could keep going on and on and on. Like this person here, Page of Swords energy, very immature, air sign again, keeps popping up. We never really get air signs pop up, so maybe you guys are dealing with that. And they're like watching you have this new beginning, this new cycle. They're watching you move on. They're watching you be in a relationship. And I feel like this person is very pissed that you weren't the hook, line, and sinker that you they wanted you to be. They wanted you to, to be hooked on them. And so they're just going to watch from a distance. Okay, so this was a very quick reading. If you needed some sort of clarity about what was going to happen coming in the future. All right, so let's pull one of these angel answers cards. I have yes, no's, timing cards in here. They're all mixed together. Let's just get one. Okay, so we have remain positive. So you may be in a very dark place when this was done to you. Ghosting is emotional manipulation. It's very, very painful. It's very, very painful. So it doesn't matter if you're the strongest person. When somebody does this to you, it doesn't even matter if you guys weren't talking that long. When somebody does this to you, it hurts. Let go. Spirit is saying, though, the first time somebody does this to you, I know I've been ghosted before. It's very painful. The best thing I can say to you is that it's not going to stop the pain, but the first time that you see this happen or this pattern, don't let it be a pattern. You know, it's not you. It's literally them. They are sick in the head. People who do that, they need some sort of gratification. So remain positive about yourself. Don't second guess yourself and let go of this situation. Let's pull one more. person probably never deserved you from the beginning okay so compromise came in reverse and then we have reconsider if you're thinking about trying to compromise or even believing what this person is saying to you reconsider okay because you're going to fall down another pit hole right and be hurt again like people like this don't change unfortunately all right so that's what i have for you guys and talk to you later